Hi, Nancy Spears with Gen Connect, and I'm here at Samsung's Blogger Lounge at South by Southwest talking to David Steele, Executive Vice President at Samsung. Hi, David. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So you are uh, in the middle of a major, huge initiative at Samsung that's impacting education. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. So we're trying to invest a lot in STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. Obviously, Samsung's a leading technology company. We benefit from the, the, the output of STEM subjects. But we think in the US now, it's very important that companies like Samsung really put some money, really, really get some excitement about STEM. Obviously, science and math are important to the overall numeracy of, of society, but they're also uh, economic drivers of innovation, of new companies, and so on. So Samsung's really trying to focus on STEM education as a place that we can invest. Fantastic. So, and I understand you have uh, launched an initiative called Solve for Tomorrow, yeah. which is really making an impact across the country. Tell us more about that program, please. Thank you. Yeah, we're very excited about Samsung Solve for Tomorrow. It's a nationwide contest that schools apply to. We have more than 1,500 schools from across the country this year. And they apply to the challenge, show how STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, can help the environment in your local community. And they initially write essays, then we choose a, a short list of 75 that get video production kits. And this is really tapping into the, the YouTube generation. Kids are more excited to get out of the classroom, to actually take video than they are to just stay in and learn from books. So then these schools go out there, they, they take videos, they show us the answer to that question, which is really about applying science and math to the local community and that just makes it so much more relevant to these kids and then out of those shortlisted schools we pick finalists and the winners get a hundred thousand dollars of technology for their school so it's it's worth them winning so a hundred thousand dollars is, is a, that can make a big impact in, in one school give us an example of of how you've made a difference through those donations in a school so we've had schools that really haven't had many uh, laptops, for example, mm -hmm. and with their $100,000, they've said we want to get entirely new classroom just with laptops, with monitors. So with their $100,000, they've been able to do that. Also, Samsung televisions, you know, we've had schools that have wanted to build up their multimedia capabilities, and so they've used that. But, you know, the prize is just one piece of it. We hope that the contest has impact well beyond just the prizes that giving these schools an opportunity to apply STEM outside the classroom. And I think the thing that makes me personally so excited about this, the winners are great, uh, the use they make of the technology is great, but it's the letters I've had from teachers who haven't made it past the finalist stage, but have written in saying, even though I'm not going to get the $100,000, this has been such a creative exercise. Thank you for sending us the Samsung video production kit. You've got us out of the classroom, you've got us into the local community, the kids have been excited. It's got them much more interested in STEM and that really is, is heartwarming. Yeah, I think that's the biggest picture really, is getting them engaged so they use their mind to really figure out how to make an impact in the world. So it's a ripple effect. You may not even know how big the impact really is going to be uh, through Samsung, your technology and your um, ability to give back. Yeah, we hope so because now technology in schools is critical. We're at a critical time where so many kids have better technology at home or in their personal lives than they have in the school. Mm -hmm. And so how do we get the overall level of school technology up? And I know the funding challenges that exist there, but through simple programs like Samsung Soul for Tomorrow, trying to have that ripple effect where we get kids and their teachers excited about the application of STEM, about technology and learning, and so on. And hopefully we can have a disproportionate impact. Well, you already have continued uh, success to you. Um, and thank you so much for what you're doing for education and the, uh, the school system in the United States. Great. Thank you. Nice Thanks. to talk to you. Thanks a lot.